What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony on the new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we're in the brand new 2025 Chevy Trailblazer, courtesy of Sioka Chevrolet in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we're in this one today just because there is a new color for 2025. That is why we are in this one today. Not really, but that is exciting. But some things about the Trailblazer, too, that you probably wouldn't expect. So that's pretty cool in case you're curious this one does compete with the mazda cx30 and the volkswagen tau so ultimately this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be several different trim levels for the 2025 trailblazer first one being the ls starting at 26,395 got the lt starting at 27,595 dollars rs for 30,595 and lastly the active starting at 50,595 dollars but regardless of the trim level that you go with the power plant on the trailblazer is going to be the same powering the little beast is a 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder putting out 155 horsepower power 5600 rpm 174 pound feet of torque coming in at 1600 rpm power sent to all four wheels yes all wheel drive does come standard so you gotta love that but power sent to the ground through a nine speed automatic zero to 60 time approximately 8.7 seconds we'll test that out here in a little bit with that pg numbers coming into 26 in the city 29 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel but so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the acceleration here to the test and Let's see how quickly we can get our new 2025 Trailblazer here up to speed. All right, got our straightaway here in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Actually, this shifted kind of well through the gears. It was kind of funny because it kind of lunged you forward as you shifted through each gear, which is kind of interesting, but it was actually better than I expected. Now, 0 to 60 in 8.7 seconds is not the quickest thing in the world, of course. I think we all know that, but it was a little better than I expected. I'll just put it that way. And the cool thing about really any vehicle that you drive these days is the more you drive it, the more you get used to. It's not as slow as the Mitsubishi Mirage, of course, but you shouldn't have any issues emerging onto the highway there. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 11.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 10.4 inch solid rear disc as far as that 60 is your stopping distance goes that comes in at 120 feet which is really respectable actually so as far as braking feel goes whoa that is freaking awesome man i'm not even joking that is an extremely firm braking feel i love a firm braking feel because it it's more playful like a sports car so that is that is awesome, dude. I love the braking feel because a lot of times with SUVs, you're going to find a soft braking feel and it, um, it's just no emotion to it. But this thing is dang good when it comes to braking. And that 120 foot number, that's plenty respectable because typically when I say when you get in the one teens, that's a sports sedan. So 120 feet, excellent. Well done, Chevy. But anyways, the touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get an independent strut type front suspension in the back, torsen beam rear axle. And if you were to go at that active trim level, you will also get an off-road tuned suspension in case you were curious but as far as ride quality goes in our short little test drive here today it has been perfectly fine so i personally don't have any issues this is a really smooth road that we're on right now but i don't have any issues there as far as steering feel goes it's actually not bad it's weighted a little bit on the heavier side of things it's not a super loosey-goosey steering feel as you traditionally find in suvs so it's not anything super heavy like a tesla model y or anything like that but it's as I would expect, so it feels pretty good. As far as cabin noise goes, you do get a little bit of road noise. I, I will say that. There isn't a heck of a lot of wind noise, so I like that, but there is some road noise. You guys can probably tell, as expected with compact SUVs traditionally, but it's nothing that would personally bother me. And touching our rear visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out of my rear view mirror, so you're definitely not gonna have any issues there. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2025 
Chevy Trailblazer. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2025 Chevy Trailblazer finished in cacti green. In case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had on this one with us here today. But let's go ahead and start with the new color for 2025. It's going to be Marina Blue Metallic. So if you wanted the latest and greatest color, that's going to be the one to go with. But let's start with also where this one is made because it's kind of interesting. I didn't expect to see this. So taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter K. Hey, if you guys know what that means, this one is built and assembled in Korea, in South Korea, not the US, not Mexico, South Korea. So that is very, very interesting to me. So anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Black front grille will come standard, of course. You are gonna get the RS lettering found in the upper corner. If you were to go with that RS trim level, that is. You're gonna find a gold bow tie logo for the LS and the LT trim levels, but then a black bow tie logo for the RS and the active. So that's how you're gonna get that. To the sides, LED headlights actually do come standard for all trim levels across the board. So add illumination at night there. You're gonna get LED daytime running lights with the LED. LT trim level and up. And yes, you still get daytime running lights with the LS. They're just not going to be LEDs. I'll just put it that way. Also though, with those headlights, you do get the automatic feature. You also get automatic high beams coming standard for all trim levels as well. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So anyways, just wanted to mention that, but I think it looks dang good up front in my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and swing around to the side. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of our cacti green trailblazer, roof rails will come on the LT trim level and up. Rear privacy glass also for our LT trim level and up. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated for the LT trim level and up. LT seems to be the sweet spot here. Taking a look down at the wheel setup, 17 inch silver painted aluminum alloys for the LS, 17 inch gloss black slash machine finished alloys for the LT and the active trim levels, and then 19 inch gloss black aluminum alloys for the RS. So anyways, also wanted to mention, you do have a gloss black A pillar. So it's something Toyota does a lot too. I actually like that. And you got the floating roof line towards the back there as well. But that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go Headed swing around to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top, you're gonna find, I don't know, an antenna, a shark fin antenna with an antenna on top of it. Kind of interesting. You don't really see the antennas that much anymore, the, the long antennas that is, so it's kind of interesting. But rear spoiler with the integrated brake light, you got the rear window wiper affixed to the rear glass there. Uh, if you wanted LED taillights, they're gonna come on the active and RS trim levels. Otherwise, you're gonna get the uh, halogen bulbs back there. Gonna get some trim level badging found on the rear tailgate you guys can see that and then just below it all you will find dual exhaust outlets they are tucked away for our lt that we have with us here today but you will get exposed brushed tips for the active and rs trim levels i think that would have looked stinking cool but nonetheless i do believe you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip So now since we are around to the back of the trailblazer when it comes to opening that rear tailgate it is going to be a manual tailgate that does come standard so simply lift up on the tailgate itself it is going to open up for you but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 25.3 cubic feet if that was not enough space of course the rear seats do fold down bumping that up to 54.4 cubic feet then you'll find some cargo lighting back there there are also chrome plated tie down anchors as well so that was pretty nice then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you will find a decent amount of in-floor storage but also a spare tire within there then as well then making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at an even 39 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there but for our lt trim level that we have today there isn't a whole lot going on and that's for the ls as well so no rear ventilation no rear charging ports or anything like that if you wanted a rear center armrest with cup holders though you will have to go with the active or rs trim level so that's how you get that but then make your way up to the front seats manually adjustable front seats for the ls and lt eight-way power driver's seat for the active and rs gonna find cloth seating for the ls and lt evo tex upholstery for the active and rs then heated front seats then coming with the active and rs as well but i gotta tell you guys believe it or not these manually adjustable cloth seats i can't always say this 
but they were pretty darn comfortable. So I sort of personally didn't have any issues with this seating. So at least in my short little test drive here today, I kind of liked it. But then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is going to be leather wrapped for the active and RS trims. And that is available for our LT that we have today. We actually have that as an option, but then heated steering wheel is going to come with the active and RS then as well. Steering wheel grips, they were perfectly fine. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys key. Got your Chevy logo on the one side. Then when you flip it over, lock unlock and that circular button that is going to be remote start which comes in the LT trim level and up so you can warm this thing up on super cold days in Pennsylvania but it is all keyless entry with a push button start again for the LT trim level and up so all I'm going to do here is simply put my front of the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up, you will find a digital gauge cluster. It's not the largest digital gauge cluster, but it certainly gets the job done. And I think it looks personally pretty darn good. So you got your speedometer front and center. Tachometer surrounds that highlighted in yellow. Got how many miles you have left until you hit empty in the lower left-hand corner there. Bottom right-hand corner is your uh, odometer, of course. You got a compass in the upper left. So it is a pretty nice gauge cluster up there. Wouldn't have minded though, Chevy, if you put some other loadouts up there. I think that would have been pretty cool. Maybe a few different loadouts different colors kind of thing to let the driver really personalize it and make it their own I think that would be pretty stinking cool but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality if you wanted a panoramic sunroof that actually is available it's an option though but it doesn't come standard on any particular trim uh, just in front of the shifter here you got a decent amount of rubberized storage so I like that uh, you got a couple USB charging ports there's a 12 volt power outlet to the right of the shifter, everything is finished kind of in a gloss black, so I love that. You also have a couple cup holders and a cell phone slot within the middle of those cup holders. That's something that I always used to use when I had that particular feature in one of my old cars, so that's pretty sticking cool. Just behind that, you got a little bit of more storage and within the center armrest, it's actually a decent amount of space if you take this little tray out, so it's a pretty deep amount of space, I'll put it that way. One of the things I really like though is kind of on the doors here, they took the material that was found in the seating and they put that on the doors so that's pretty darn cool you got a chrome door handle you got some nice smooth kind of gloss finish found on the doors as well so honestly when it comes to interior quality and this just being an LT trim level it's actually not that bad so I didn't have any issues now there's no like automatic climate control or dual zoom climate control at that but for what it is I didn't have any issues I'll put it that way but now let me get to one of my favorite parts which is the infotainment screen you actually get an 11 inch color touchscreen display coming standard for all trim levels across the board now one of the weird parts though about the infotainment screen is the little icons found on the left hand side uh, it's not something that you're used to that you would find on an iPhone or an Android device or any anything like that. They're just really weird looking icons. So it's one of those things you have to get used to, but, and yeah, they're really weird. But anyways, you can check out things like your average miles per gallon at any given time. There's a Bluetooth connectivity button, it looks like. The very bottom icon is for your Android Auto Apple CarPlay, which by the way is wireless for all trim levels across the board. So that is pretty sick and cool. And of course you can check out your radio information up there as well. So when it comes to the sound system, there is one of them. It is a six speaker sound system that comes stated across the board. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today and Let's test out the clarity of this one. Da, da, da. That was actually better than I thought though, if I'm being honest. Like there was a decent amount of bass there. Clarity was pretty darn good as well. Now the one thing I will say about the infotainment screen is it was a little bit laggy. So when I went to change the station, there was like this little uh, waiting window that popped up. So it did take a little bit of time to change everything up. Wouldn't have minded a little smoother transition there. But uh, yeah, it gets the job done nonetheless. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the Trailblazer in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. It's pretty high definition as well, so I don't mind that. Letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. So let me start with the best part. IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. And so you really can't say that about all vehicles out there because that is the very best safety rating given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. Front side side current airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard for collision alert, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, following distance indicator, automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking, 
braking and you get a teen driver mode as well. So for those not familiar with that, it essentially prevents your teen driver from turning off the safety features if they were to go ahead and do that. It's logged in the system so you'll be able to see it. So there's no way around it. So that's pretty cool. Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Trailblazer, great design. I think this has a wonderful design, especially up front. Definitely looks good. Plenty of space for its class as well. This is a relatively decently sized SUV for it being a compact SUV. So uh, that's pretty cool as well. Decent sound system for it being only six speakers. So I definitely didn't have any issues with that either. As far as room for improvement goes, I think I've only got two things really. In the back of my mind, a turbocharged three cylinder reliability is kind of questionable to me. I don't know how that's gonna hold up over time. And quite honestly, if I'm comparing this versus the Trax, the Chevy Trax, I think I'd probably go with the Trax just because it's several thousand dollars less and it's also a compact SUV. So I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. But let me know what you guys think of the Trailblazer in the comments section below. That's about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that's what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. You're